Good morning, everyone. It's Lila Gonzalez. Have you ever had drama in your life? Do you ever feel like the news you're watching is a little dramatic? What's going on in the nation is a little dramatic in your home, at your workplace? I've got the solution for you. I'm going to tell you in just a minute. I'm going to see if anybody else pops on here. And um, I'm also going to use this. Uh, I think there's a way to invite people. So I'm going to just try to see if I can invite a few friends. I'm not sure. Uh, no, stay on this page. Thank you for your patience. And if you're watching this later, thank you. I I'm so excited to share this for you because, or share this with you because everybody has drama at some point, even if it's not outside of you, it's inside of you. We create our stories sometimes that, that don't feel good. We create our stories that aren't true. Uh, we create stories, potentialities. Hey, Brent! Woo! When drama strikes, what do we do? I'm trying to find out how to invite people, but I, I, I'm so, I would have invited you. So I, I, I think I might have just invited you telepathically. I, I feel so connected with you, Britt. Um, I'm really, I, I think about you so often, actually. It's like I have this big desire to go to Chicago. I love Chicago. I miss the, miss, the Midwest. I miss the water. I miss the beautiful people, just that feeling. And so I'm hoping to come to uh, Chicago at some point, do some work, do some love, you know, uh, share some time with friends. And um, so anyways, when drama strikes, what do we do? We breathe. Everybody's told us that, right? Breathe. But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to breathe. Not just breathe, but how to breathe. So the Bow Spring practice, what I teach and how I coach uh, people, whether, whether, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're a teacher, uh, whether you're a mom, uh, whether you're just somebody who has a, a new puppy that keeps peeing on the floor and you need some help to, to release some stress, <laughs> this is a tool that will help you no matter what in an instant. I've got, you know, I have clients who are recovering from disease. I have clients, hey, sweets. She said, so true. I'm still in bed and something woke me up and told me to turn on my phone. Oh, I love it. I feel so connected. Thanks for the invite. Yay. Heart, 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 hearts to you. Okay. Speaking of heart, that's where we're going to breathe. Because that is where your truth lies. So you can just breathe or you can we say breathe into your heart. So you can imagine just using your breath. I say use your breath to touch your inside space. So it might take you feel a few breaths to actually get inside your throat, down into your chest, right behind your sternum. And I'm going to show you. Oftentimes, you're going to notice now if you're breathing, just take a few deep breaths down. Try it. If you're driving, keep your eyes open. But if you're in bed, maybe uh, keep your eyes closed just for a moment and just feel what is it like to breathe and, and notice your heart, notice your chest, notice your sternum. And then see if you can feel more of your breath coming into more of your rib cage. So you use more of the space within to open. So even between each rib cage, you let your breath come in. And most special place, the place that's most challenging to reach, but that will give you the most uh, calmness, the most um, awareness, the quickest is the back of your ribs. So you just pause and you see if you can push your breath <clears throat> sweetly, but and softly, but you'll notice it'll, it'll kind of clear my throat even because my the back of my ribs are still kind of closed off. It's super early in the morning. So uh, you want to open up your ribs on the back side with your breath. So when drama strikes, go inside. Pause. Breathe. I used to be called a firecracker. I don't know if I was called that or I called that. I call myself that. I called myself a hot box, a uh, little whippersnapper. Uh, I had quite a few words for myself. I didn't realize that until I came, became a lot more aware of what, <laughs> what, how that was affecting my life. I was, I was easy to be sharp tongue with somebody. I was easy. I would hold, hold, hold everything in, and then once it let loose, I would let it loose, and it was not pretty. And so, um, and that that ended up in you know, especially in my romantic relationships, it ended up being um, quite a lot of turmoil, a lot of drama. Um, I didn't have this tool. I didn't have the ability to go inside. I had no idea there was an inside. <laughs> so if you're a kind of person, I know many of you, and I've written you pretty, you, you work with this kind of concepts, your consciousness, your awareness, your, your true beingness really uh, isn't outside of what's going on, your relationships and all of that stuff. It's really the relationship you have with yourself. And so this is 
strengthening. And, and I'll tell you what, women and men alike, when you breathe into your back ribs, you start to get a narrow waist. It's unreal, unreal. So you're just breathing here normal. But you breathe into your back ribs. Whew, my neck just cracked. My hips feel more open. Look at that. Amazing. So those back ribs are powerful. I'm, sh I'm showing you. I'll tell you more stuff later. But back ribs, back ribs. When drama strikes, back ribs. Go inside. That shit ain't real. If it's dramatic, it's not real. That's what I'm calling today. Drama ain't real. It's just your made up shit. It's your stories. And I do it too. I do it too. I have all sorts of stories. I have all sorts of worries about if this happens, then that'll happen. If this doesn't happen, then that might not happen. How am I going to do this? Who gives a crap? Just do right now. Uh, I'm on my, <laughs> excuse my, excuse my uh, language. I don't know crap if I said a curse word. I don't remember. But, you know, I'm on a mission today. I stepped up today and I, I've been wanting to come on in the mornings with you all because I'm super busy during the day, like variable. I want to come on and be consistent. And um, when drama strikes, so the drama for me in my head was like, oh, I want to do that. Oh, it's on my calendar. I wake up and I get shy and I don't do it. I get scared. It's just a drama. It's totally like my, my ego mind trying to create a story. So I got up, you know, I, I um, was on a, one of my coaches, Maria Andrews Buckley. She and this other woman, Chris, was on a call uh, on a video yesterday talking about accountability partners. So today I have a daily accountability partner. When drama strikes, get help. <laughs> get help sometimes. Or you get help from your breath. Um, go inside. Same thing. It's like, what do I need? I, you know, I need some help. So I've got a woman in Michigan who, uh, near you, Britt, uh, who we're going to, we talk every day now, five days a week, 5.45 my time, 7.45 her time. I'm a morning person. You can tell I'm like, woo, up and out. I love it. This is the time of day. I have another friend, a colleague who's helped me out a lot with uh, systematizing my business uh, Nancy Gaines, and uh, she asked recently my group, my group uh, business coaching program, she asked everybody, she goes like, when's your power hour? And my power hour is now. And so why not show up for you? Why not show up for, you know, the world and, and just, and allow my voice to be heard, allow my uh, ears to listen to what you have to say in response. So I'm wondering, what drama do you have in your life? Let me know if you're using this breath uh, to to help at all. Like, I was actually talking to my accountability partner, Elle, this morning. I'm so excited about it. We just started. It went so well. And I'm already pumped. And, and here I am. I'm up and at him. And, you know, it's super early. And it feels really good. I'm actually on a podcast it's in, in a half hour at 7 a.m. my time. So you can make shifts just by, you know, little things sometimes. And just getting an accountability partner really pumped me up, I can tell. But uh, one thing she said with the breath, she was recently at an event uh, about um, cancer. And one woman was talking about your digestion and how your breath is so important to your digestion because your digestion, your digestion is, um, it's like an engine. It's like a fire, you know, it needs oxygen to work. And if we're not breathing down into the, the belly, down deeper into your di uh, digestive system, uh, so drama can strike in your belly too. Uh, drama, a lot of people, my dad passed away from uh, digestive you know, cancer two years ago, and um, and I know a lot of, I used to have digestive problems a lot, and I know a lot of people do because I talk to them. Uh, it hurts down there, you, you can't go to the bathroom regularly, or you go in the bathroom, it's not like the way you want it to feel. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff going on down there, and it's, it's usually stress-related, not enough movement, not enough uh, uh, lubrication, liquid, but also breath. There's no, there's nothing to light the fire. If you're putting meat on your, on your belly all the time, the fire's going out, the fire's going out, the fire's going out. There's nothing to feed the flame. Feed the flame, brothers and sisters. Uh, yeah, so use the, this is going to help the drama within your body, the drama in your relationships. Um, your breath will help uh, waken you up, energize you, bring that mind alive to what re, right now what's really true, not that shit that's in your mind, not that not the stories that you know, hold us back from what we really want to do. Oh, I really want to do that. Really? Use your breath. Make it happen. Get your back body alive. All right. I love you. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you like it, give me hearts and stuff. I always like that and then share it. And, you know, and, and if you need help, you've got drama in your life, let's chat. I, I, I was talking to my accountability partner this morning, Ellen, and that's what she was saying. It's just like, 
you know, people are stressed. She works with people that are stressed out and, uh, or, or even that don't even know they're that stressed to just to find even more calm, uh, especially in high, when they're performing, high performance coach she is. And so it, drama can strike at any time when you're going to take a test, when you're about to go and um, give a presentation. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're about to um, meet with somebody who you want to offer something to, your service, your product, um, an opportunity, you want to partner with them, anything, the breath, the breath, into, go inside, get out of your head, get into your body, get out of your head, get into your body, get out of your head and into your body, because you're not your thoughts, okay? You're not your body either, but the body, getting out of your thoughts will help you get so much more clarity, so much more confidence, You'll feel creative and, and you'll just, and you'll be more warm to people. Nobody really likes to talk to anybody who's in the head too much. If you're thinking, 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 you're not really, uh, you can't connect. And so get out of your head, get into your body to connect. It'll help in relationships and romance, even in the bedroom. Get out of your head, get into your body. Try it out. Love you. My heart is radiating towards all of you. We're connected. Love you. Namaste.